Welcome back, friend. If you're a new viewer, I want to encourage you, please go to our website and take advantage of the materials that we have there. Archives of the show, you can search by topic, you can read books that I've written in a PDF format online. We're not in this for the money. We're in it to hopefully change the course of your life. And then maybe you can become a leader that changes the course of your community or your state or even this whole nation. One more thing from the mailbag. Uh, hate to break it to you, but the American people have always been on the wrong side of justice. The abolishment, abolishment of, the abolishment of slavery, civil rights, women's rights, etc. All of those movements were unpopular during their day, and yet they were absolutely right. Well, uh, she is right. The, the, the writer is correct. There have been times, such as, in my opinion, the second most egregious deal with hell that the American people ever made was when they enshrined slavery in the Constitution. There's no question that the, that the U.S. Constitution in its original writing was, as some of the agitators for justice said, a compact with hell. It enshrined slavery. Man-stealing, kidnapping, is a capital crime in the scriptures. It deserves the death sentence. And yet, the founders of this republic, in order to reach a compromise to have the current constitution, those people, just think today, Democrats and Republicans, those people compromised with the three-fifths clause of the U.S. Constitution, which said that a black slave counted as three-fifths of a person for the purpose of determining how many congressional seats there would be, all right, but that those people could not vote. Talk about an incentive. Talk about giving the slave power an, um, an unholy preponderance of political power because by the time the revolution or the Civil War broke out, there were nearly three million slaves, all right? So they counted in the census as three-fifths of a person which gave more congressional seats, more house seats to the slave power than they really should have had based upon voters. If they wanted to give them, if they wanted to have those black people count as a person and then be able to vote, no problem. But they didn't want that. So it took a civil war to, re to, re to reverse that. It took a lot of heartache. It took a lot of bloodshed, a lot of loss of treasure because slavery was an inherent evil and our forefathers sinned against God and man to create it. Fast forward to today. What sins against God and man are our leaders in Washington, D.C. bringing upon us? And what horrific price will we pay for their evils? We've got to stand against them, fight against them, and prevail for justice.